Hello, and Dwebs. Welcome to uh, Adam and IT. I'm going to show you a quick trick here that I've mentioned in YouTube comments many, many times, but a lot of people don't fully understand. And that is when you're building a computer that has a lot of USB 2 internal peripherals in it. So, for example, this computer I'm building at the moment has an LED controller and an NZXT water cooling uh, system in it. And that means that I have two of these USB 2 headers. Now, uh, thankfully, I've got two USB headers on my motherboard, but if you've only got one USB 2 header on your motherboard, you can't plug both of these in at the same time, despite the fact that they're only using one of the headers there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to merge these two pin plugs into a single plug so I can plug two devices into a single header. So in order to do this, you just need a fine pair of tweezers. That's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick one cable and I'm going to pick this one because it's got a nice USB 2 print on it, so it's a bit easier to understand. And the other one, I'm going to get my tweezers into that gap and pry up the plastic tab so I can pull the pin out the back, like that. And we're going to repeat that for all of them until we've got four bare pins. And for the record, this is there is zero danger to this. We're not doing any electrical ha we're not doing any electrical hacking or anything like that. The port supports two devices. We're just condensing. There we go. So that's that. We don't need that anymore. Now we'll take the other one. And we're going to mirror these connections on the other side. So red. Make sure it's the right way up. You'll know because it's got a little sticky out tab on top. So red into red. Then white. And if your device has non-standard colors on it, by the way, you'll need to pay attention to pin numbers instead. So one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. And then black. And then finally, just in case some of them have it, um, USB has a ground pin, which is your black, and it also has an earth pin, which is this empty end one. And these guys are normally empty, but on some shielded cables, you'll have an extra earth pin there, which is normally blocks off on one connector. And there we go. Now we've got two devices into a single header. So now we only need one USB header on our motherboard.